Action. All right, action. Welcome to Yay Math. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice. <laughs> Today we'll be doing congruent triangles. Um, thank you for joining. It's the day before Thanksgiving, so I'm feeling good. How are you guys feeling? Awesome. Awesome. Yes. 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 I was thinking about you guys yesterday, this particular group. I think it's been fun since we started school together. I really, really like yes. you guys. We like you. I really, we really, really like you. I really do. I really do. It's, it means a lot to me. Got a lot of energy in here. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm saying. It's a loving holiday. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the life. You know what I mean. Thanks for the teaching. Yeah. Thanks for your mom. Peace. Sorry. Peace and love. That was awesome. Is it so obvious? <laughs> oh no, that's Miss McCauley. Peace and love. Peace and love. It's like, like it's like that. peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> peace, love, and peace. I don't even know. Peace, love, love and, and happiness. <laughs> All right, thank you for that. I feel Anytime. even better. Okay, so a uh, question for you, and then answer back with the same question, but don't ask it as a question. Say it as an exclamation. Yay math! Yay math! Nice. Yoy math. Yoy Right. <laughs> Got to keep it real. You have to make so, a weird noise. Yoy? Yeah, there you go. Okay. We're done. <laughs> We're doing more of congruent triangles. Notice there's two triangles congruent here, or excuse me, not congruent, but there's two triangles we want to prove congruent. However, there's an issue that we haven't gone over yet. Notice what we're trying to prove. Are we trying to prove that two triangles are congruent here? No. 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 All right, so new wrinkle. Wrinkle. Yeah, <laughs> wrinkle in the plot. Wrinkle. So the wrinkle is, even though the proof statement says, not to prove the triangles congruent, we are going to prove the triangles congruent, and then we can prove this congruent, and I'm going to explain that later. Okay, I'm going to explain that later. So before we continue, what are the We're four ways that? we will prove this? So we ignoring proofs. We, no, don't ignore. <laughs> Keep it alive. I'm just saying, let's pretend we're just going to prove the triangles congruent. That's all I'm saying. What are the four ways we learn to prove triangles congruent? Yeah, what are two? SAS and SSS. Okay, so we have S, 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 A, S. Two more. Um, A, S, A, and A, A, S. A, S, A, 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 S. And uh, someone to explain what these are about? What do they mean? What's the idea behind them? Yes? Um, the sides and the angles. The sides and the angles, right? What so, about them? Um, where they're shown on the triangle. Where they're shown to be what? Yeah, yeah, did you say congruent? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Basically what it's saying is for SAS, for example, you have two triangles, they each have two congruent sides, and they share one congruent angle. And if they have two congruent sides and one congruent angle between them, then the two triangles are congruent. So what do these do? They show congruency. They prove congruency, show triangles congruent for um, there are the four ways of proving triangles congruent. That's right. So even though this doesn't say prove triangles congruent, I'm going to ask you, let's just make the triangles congruent, and then I'll take it from there with you. All right? So here we have this triangle and this triangle, correct? Mm -hmm. We have parallel lines marked. We have DK bisects JE. Suggestions for how to prove this congruent to that. What part of this is congruent to what part of that? Let's do, let's do a few in the back, yeah. You can do EG is congruent to GJ because definition of bisected. Okay, cool. So you see that JE is bisected, the segment JE is bisected. Here it is. And if it's bisected... Oh, oh so then it's DG. You're right. No, no, you're right. You're right. Oh. JE is bisected, correct? Right. So which one's cut in half? JE. JE. And so if JE is cut in half, that means that this is congruent to that. And how did you phrase it? I said E, G is congruent to G, J. C e, J. Definition. How about uh, J, G? So like kind of keep it outside to in, outside okay. to in. For definition of bisector. Definition of bisector, yes. Okay, so I don't really know how like, I'm going to use this, but if G is the midpoint of all of it, can't you also, wait, wait. Can I use that? We're not doing Okay, let's first finish this step. Are you comfortable with this step? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're comfortable with this step. So we have an S done, correct? Here's an S. I'm confused what we're doing. We're trying to you prove this D, triangle. D, J, K, or no, it's a separate proof. D, K, what, it's excuse me? prove D, E equals J, K. Oh, 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 oh. I'm saying we will get here. We will get here. 
for now, all I'm saying is, first prove the triangle is congruent. <laughs> that was so That's okay. Okay, yes? Um, D E is congruent to JK. D E is congruent to JK. Okay, I'm glad you said that. First of all, that's what we're trying to prove. Okay? But Second, if parallel doesn't that make them automatically congruent? If two lines are parallel, are they congruent? No. Not necessarily. So I'm glad you said it. Not necessarily. Two lines parallel doesn't mean they're congruent. And since there's nothing mentioned about whether DE is the same as JK, we can't assume it. That's kind of the magic behind the proof. All right? And kind of in life, too. Don't say, don't assume <coughs> anything unless you can absolutely prove it. Yes? Can't you say that, like, angle E is equal to, ang is congruent to angle J because they're both consecutive angles? All right, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. So let's do, want to do parallel line stuff? Okay. Parallel line stuff, we got angle E is congruent to angle J. As far as parallel lines go, as in, let's replicate our parallel lines here and here. Oh, it's alternate? And then you have this. It's And we're talking about these, aren't we? Is there what are they called? alternate interior? Alternate interior. So? Angle, do we need three letters for angle E, guys? Or can we use just, just angle E? Just angle E. We can just use angle E, why? Because it's only the angle E. It's the only one there. Angle E congruent to angle J. Do you give an example when if we could not use only the one? The one G. It's only one G, because there's four angles, or six, actually. Oh, there's I a lot there. what you're saying. Okay, angle E congruent to angle J, reason? Alternate interior. Alternate interior. Angles are congruent. 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 Correct. All right. Good. So now, is that an A or an S? A. That's an A. Correct. So we have two of them done. Next. Yes. Oh, uh, you can also do the other bisect when J E when T K bisects J E. Doesn't it work the other way also? Oh, you're saying that. If DK bisects JE, does JE bisect DK? Is that your question? Yeah. No, because no. we don't know if DK oh, yeah. is Not necessarily, same. yeah. We, don't, we can't assume that not necessarily, so I'm so, glad you said that too. So we can't assume that D and K are congruent? Can we assume that angle D and angle K are congruent? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Angle D and yeah. K? Yeah. 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 Why? Because the angle line is so what about the given? Angle D and angle yeah, K? Alternate interior again. They are. So we can make that the... We can make that the next one, okay. right. We could okay. do another alternate interior. Okay. Or, you guys, we can do... Um, could you do angle G is equal to angle G? Okay, that's when we need three letters. We could do these two angles as well. And could you say... D, J, E, or... Yeah. And J, uh, G, K. These two angles, what are they called? Vertical angles. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are always equal. Yeah, it's congruent or equal, so we could do both. So what would you like to do? The vertical, vertical angle. Let's do vertical, because we already got one of the parallels. Let's yeah. do vertical, get practice. So that means we're implying that this angle is the same as the one across from it. Letters go. Angle D, G, E, congruent. So if we start at D, G, E, where are we starting over here? J. Let's start at K actually, because D is the same as K. Oh, right. So, right. K, K, so K, K, G, K, J. K, I always I have to go this slow for this. K, G, G J. 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 Right. All right, reason? Vertical. Vertical angles are congruent. That's exactly right. Angles are congruent. Is that an S or an A? That's an A. 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 Okay, now according to the picture, this triangle can be said congruent to this triangle now by which of these four? Yes? ASA. ASA, correct. ASA, why ASA? Because you're using the angle for the angle E and J. Look at, the, look at these three, that's what I'm asking. Right, because then it's, it's an angle side right. angle. The S is between the two A's in the picture. The S is between the two A's. So we can say triangle now. Let's do D, G, E, congruent to triangle K, G, J. Very good, very good, you guys. We didn't do the proof. We didn't do the proof yet, this is the ASA. Now, new concept, gonna explain it for a second. New concept, okay? 
We didn't do the prove yet. Here's how this stuff operates. What we need to do, if whenever you have triangle proofs and you don't have a triangle in the actual prove line, you need to first prove the triangles are congruent. Because if you first prove the triangles are congruent, then you can prove any little piece about the triangle congruent. Oh. Right, does that make sense? Think of it, I have an analogy, is like with houses. If I prove that two houses on one block are exactly identical, I first prove you can that. Say the kitchens are identical. I can say the kitchens are identical. That's the concept. So, yeah. Can you say that like if the kitchens are identical, but then the bedrooms are different, but then they wouldn't. Then be right, identical right. Houses. If kitchens are identical, we wouldn't yeah, be like, able to assume any. Identical houses. Like I'm not saying. Like I'm saying. Right. Like, why do does every part of the triangle have to be? Congruent? If every part of the triangle is congruent, then I can say little pieces of the triangle are congruent. That's the idea. So we just prove, and this actually, this analogy is kind of nifty, because this does look like a house in a way. So if the houses are congruent, then the bathrooms are congruent. All right. So what piece of the houses are we talking about here? Parallel lines. DE e and JK. E e so now that, the, now that this triangle is completely, exactly identical to this triangle, are we allowed to assume that this piece is the same as this piece? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But what is the property? And we're, and we're done. I'll tell, I'll tell you what the property is. First, let's write it. Yes? I was going to say I thought the property was because of the definition of isosceles triangle. Okay. Would it be dead? It's not necessarily, no, this is not necessarily isosceles. This triangle is not. Definition of congruent. Now, I, I like that you're guessing, but you'll never guess unless you read the book. Because <laughs> it's funky. Here's how it goes. Do you agree? that corresponding parts of triangles that are already congruent are congruent themselves? Yeah. Yeah. Corresponding parts oh. of congruent triangles are congruent. Learn it. Love it. Know it. Say it quick. Say it quick. I can't. <laughs> Who has a mnemonic for it, perhaps? Kip, How about Carl? Carl plays plays co with cockroach. Cello. Cello. Carl plays cello. To to children. Cats. To children. To cats. Crazy <laughs> <laughs> like, no kitty. <laughs> My name is Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl plays cello to cats. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> what's yeah. wrong with that? <laughs> And they start loving it, you know? Oh wait, this isn't cello, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is like a violin. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's my problem? Carl plays cello to cats. I'm down. You know Carl plays cello to cats. You guys are... Carl plays cello to Chase. Hey Chase, man, you gotta come over, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sick tune for you, dude. It's like, dude, you have violin? I got the cello tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> like, oh, I love this song. He's like, I love your name, Chase. We changed it from Cats. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, Carl plays cello. Next proof. Let's knock it out. 